press conference of 2018 Wrestling World Championships here in Budapest. Please let me introduce the, the panelists, the, our guest of, of the press conference. First, we have Peter Baksha, the Vice President of the Hungarian Wrestling Federation, Super former wrestler, former referee. Next to him is the President of United World Wrestling, as well the IOC Executive Board Member. Company, er, next to him is Mariana Sassen, the former 2013 World Champion, and she will be competing currently at the World Championship at 62 kilograms. And she has a very few guests uh, accompanying her today. I just see, as well, Vice President from United World Wrestling, Stan Didip, is, is joining the press conference as well. I turn over to Peter Baksha for some opening words, uh, welcoming the international press to the World Championships. Thank you very much. Mr. President, dear guests, so, on behalf of the Hungarian Wrestling Federation, the organizing committee. I warmly welcome everybody during the occasion of the 2018 Senior Wrestling World Championship here in Budapest in our beautiful country. So five years ago we organized a high level of world championship and we hope and we work hard to exceed those level and uh, I'm very happy that so many uh, media representative came here to show and to air uh, all over the world for championship. We have close to 400 media accreditation, so it shows that wrestling or we love sport getting more and more interest. So I wish you everybody a good work, nice day, and a lot of success for your country. Thank you very much. As competition begins at 4.45, um, I will just kind of give a brief of how the press conference would, would operate. We open the floor uh, to the journalist questions. I would ask to please limit it to two, and uh, yeah, we go from there. Please, any questions you have? A uh, question for the president. It's Julio Jaffa from the BBC. Uh, there has been some. Uh, people criticizing the, the draw and as you have witnessed uh, in the 86 kilos you had two of the best wrestlers going head to head in the uh, first round and you have a ranking system in place. Uh, can you please explain how, how does that work? Uh, I think that my vice president Mr. Jedrich knows it much better than I do. That gives me the hard question. So. And trying to make it not political. Okay, I think our quest is to make certain that we separate the better wrestlers so that as the tournament advances, to make the tournament more attractive to the viewing audience so worldwide. The best would be to have the best two wrestlers wrestle in the finals, the best two wrestlers. Uh, the next, the next best in the semifinals, the next best in the quarterfinals. That's that's a very difficult task, especially when there's no practical way, given the language differences and the cultural differences, to do that in a forum where we can do it publicly. So we need to do it by uh, setting a system of registration and. We have to be extremely careful. This is, this is the very difficult part because each of these countries, Iran, United States, and Russia, have this, and others, but they have distinctly different methods of choosing their teams and of training and peaking for the world championships. So we, we have to be very careful that we don't force these countries into this uh, funnel that isn't best for them given their system. And so we have to be flexible enough to make sure that we end up with, with the four best wrestlers. And I think at, at the end, for you know, now now speaking personally, 
I don't see how this championship, the, the result of this championship, number one and number two finisher in this world championship, can't be the core of ranking the wrestlers for next year. This year we didn't have that event. We, we didn't have that opportunity because we changed the weight classes going from eight to 10, altered some of the, the weight classes, so it made it more difficult. Hopefully going forward we can iron this out because what I don't think anyone realizes is that whether you're number one or number four or number two or number three, it's almost identical. And there's just a couple, if, you're, if we have 31, 32, or 30, 31, or 29, that's the only where someone would have an extra match. That's the only difference. So we need to establish a ranking system where we have room for the upcoming athletes, but we recognize this championship's result as the foundation for the seeding of our athletes. And so I think we'll have some adjustments. I would rather, of course, I would would rather have seen that match be, 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 that you're talking about at 86 kilograms later in the tournament when the stands were full than I did in the, as a first round when the stands were, were nearly empty. But uh, yes, I think that's at the forefront of of what we can do better. So. And I would just add that uh, we clearly announced. That 2018, when we start with the ranking system, is an experimental one. And uh, all nations uh, are not used to that system. They don't really understood from the beginning that they have to practice, practically, the wrestlers have to take part in many Grand Prix tournaments. It's just a start. So we, as Mr. Gigi said, we, just, we had to make some little adjustments in order to keep uh, this tournament uh, interesting. And please, don't immediately start with difficult questions because I have my new bodyguard, just gone. Where is he? Right there. He's down there. Any more questions? You didn't get scared just on that question. <laughs> I you with you. If there's no more see. questions, I, maybe I redirect uh, the attention to to the sporting uh, matters of, of the competition. And I, and I ask Mariana, uh, how does it feel to to be here in your home country as a as the former world champion in 2013, where you, you did you were victorious in Budapest? How does it feel five years later to I think compete and I think the idea to, to repeat your performance in 2013. Thank you. 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 It's a great feeling to be here again, and uh, I think that this is one of the biggest things from the Hungarian Federation that they will be able to organize again this great event here in Budapest, in the Pop Festival Arena. I will just return to the mat after a one and a half year of uh, well, the best time in my whole life. Uh, obviously, this is not an advantage in this uh, kind of sport because, uh, well, one and a half year in, in this time, and, uh, many things can be changed. But I think I'm in a good shape, I'm in a good form, and I think after the first two matches, uh, when the, they will go on the, on the way that I would like to see them, then I, uh, I might be able to, to get a medal.
One more question and then we can conclude. All right, thank you. Wait, I just I just want to say one thing that the press should know. Now that Peter is our one of our new bureau members, I think when you when you asked your question about the um, you know like a seating, I, I think when we look at the makeup of the entire bureau to have the expertise of a referee. At one time, I think we had too many referees, <laughs> but now we have this expertise of a referee that we need that I think will will make our the depth of our conversations much deeper. That concludes, yeah? Вопрос Mr. Ovaloviću. Mr. Ovalović, I would like to ask you, when you start the game, the other side is not good, that he is not good. Just as you and me, I want to ask for a good game. I have a number of questions. I am the main player of the team of the team, the team of the team of the team, the team of the team. Вот Париж и Чингант Мира было, Париж и Чингант Мира. Это было, я как маленький, с 1994 года, я смотрю Чингант Мира каждый год. Это был самый сильный Чингант Мира, самый хороший Чингант Мира. Я не, мы не можем тренировать все, не я один, все тренера, мы не можем понять, если есть полный зал, если есть хорошая борьба, зачем поменяли правила? Одно. Второе. Мы все тренера встаем в 6 утра. Сегодня мы все встали в 6 утра. Не успеваем ни завтракать, ни обедать, ни ужинать. Для чего это правило? Ни один тренер не согласен этим правилам, которые утром делаем. Потом, для... Есть вас Excuse me, excuse me, can we please get to the question? As far as I understood, um, so he's from Poland. <laughs> he's uh, the national coach of the Polish team and he's in the system since uh, 1994. Uh, but still, his question is why would you change the rules of wrestling if everything is good and everything goes well? Excuse me. Five years. Five years. Let the president answer the question. No. Еще один вопрос сразу. Five years работаем тренером. Ни разу не было встречи с тренерами. Почему с тренерами ничего не обсуждаете? Федер. Только решаете в Конгрессе, а тренерами работаем утром вечером. Почему с нами не ходите разговаривать, общаться? Мы одна команда. Если мы одна команда и у и федерации и тренера и спортсмены, почему нам нельзя вместе это делать? Почему без нас все вы решаете? Почему нету элементарной к нам уважения спросить, что как? Здесь тоже специалисты, здесь олимпийские чемпионы, призеры, олимпиады и так далее. И зачем электронная жеребьевка? Зачем все усложнять? Можно же справедливо все делать. Мы 200, я как тренер польской команды 230 дней в году на сборах, 230 дней. У меня четверо, четверо детей, я своих детей не могу увидеть. А сегодня за жеребьевка непонятно как, что, зачем, для чего это все нужно. Так получается, мистер Валович, вы извините, конечно, так получается, что мы в этом цирке клоуни. Мы хотим, мы не хотим быть в этом цирке клоуни, мы хотим, чтобы борьба развивалась. Посмотрите элементарные вещи, то, что мы делаем. Утром сегодня, например, я борец, это болельщик, сегодня утром, Должен болельщик прийти посмотреть на меня. Вечером должен прийти. Завтра утром, завтра вечером. Кто придет четыре, четыре, четыре раза билет купить, смотреть на борьбу? Никто не придет. Для чего это все делается? Например, других видов спорта за три минуты продают билеты. У нас пустые залы. Я был чемпионом турнира Турции. Пустой зал там. Пустой зал в Дагестане. Пустые залы везде. Каждым разом зрители уходят, потому что один день один борец борется, все придут посмотреть. А так здесь один борец борется два дня и четыре раза билеты. Здесь 
Это как спектакль, как спектакль. Перевод должен, перевод не был, она должна привести на каким образом. So he'd like to ask you, Mr. Lamovic, uh, why are the, the head coaches and the coaches of the, uh, the national teams from all around the world, uh, from all around the world, why are they not involved in making rules and um, to create the changes and just talk with them? The, uh, why the holes are full? Yeah. Um, he also said why the holes are full, why we change the rules? And then it, it was said that uh, uh, why we oblige them to go back to the hotel, have the lunch, and and then anyway uh, the hotels are empty. So a little, lot of inconsistency. I understood everything that was asked. First of all, on our congress, all the nations are represented. 126 uh, uh, delegates attended the congress. Uh, I believe that you should speak more in your, within your national federations and to instruct your delegates what are the questions that has to be asked. There is a place to ask them, but there is also a coaches commission which works permanently and always open to any suggestion. Uh, the change of that rule that you just mentioned is the morning way in. The morning way in is to try to persuade all of your coaches to understand that the wrestlers cannot lose 15, even 20 percent of the of the natural way in order to be to go through the way in and then compete in the way you do last 20, 30 years. We are very much concerned about their health. And this is the reason that the way in is in the morning. Uh, if you have to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning and compete at 10, 30, 11, I, we think uh, that, uh, you see, this is the hotel where everybody is and where the breakfast is served. It's just through this window. So. Uh, I don't think that going to have breakfast at uh, one minute and a half uh, after the way in is a big uh, issue. Uh, and uh, why don't you never say that you are ready to, to, to change your habits and to let your wrestlers wrestle in their natural way? Can you see the differences in the second bout? in some bouts where the wrestlers have a lot of weight cut. It's terrible. You sometimes oblige wrestlers to wrestle in, in, a, in a weight class in which they cannot even live, not wrestle. And this is championship of wrestling, not the championship of weight cut. And I think that this bad habit of the weight cut is creating all these problems. And this is exactly what we want you to change in your mind. Because one day somebody will be responsible for their health. Thank you, President Malovich. That concludes the opening press conference. I, I wish everyone best of luck at the competition. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. No more questions? Yes, one question, just, just one question. About the uh, Iran team, uh, in past didn't play in front of the Israel team. If uh, in future repeat, what, what's your decision about Iran? About Iran, uh, because never uh, play in front of Israel. Listen, this is... We clearly said what we think about any kind of discrimination. We will not allow any kind of discrimination. And unfortunately, if that happens, uh, everyone who acts in that way will be heavily uh, uh, punished. We know that uh, in Iran there is a lot of, 
a lot of discussion about this and a lot of, uh, how to say, uh, difficult uh, issues. To, and, uh, but I will tell you, the Youth Olympic Games recently assigned for, for Senegal were not given to Tunis because they don't allow the Israeli Israeli athletes to compete. They don't deliver them and releases. We had to cancel the qualifying championship, Kadechi European Championship to Ukraine because they don't accept the Kosovo passports. And you have to understand that such a behavior is not tolerable in our community. So it will be not tolerated to Iran or to anybody else. It's not only those, those uh, discrimination acts that are not reserved for Iran. We no, have an absolute hate with other nations because today we have so many political issues between many countries. If we allow this to happen, that will be a chaos. This is why Iran would be sanctioned if that happens. But not only Iran, everyone has, runs the same danger. Trener, ne uvodite tam, ja hoću s vam pogovoriti še. Thank you, that concludes the press conference. Thank you. 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 Thank you.